For today's DIY, I decided to recreate a craft from my childhood. I've taken a copper pot, I'm keeping it upturned. I'm taking some old newspaper and some white tissue paper, a brush, some uh, clear water, and some Mod Podge. Or uh, one can take one part white glue or craft glue or school glue and one part water. Mix it really well. Now I'm going to take the newspaper and tear it into small pieces. Uh, other pieces can be 2 to 3 inches in length and about an inch or inch and a half in width. I'm doing this craft after ages. I did it in my childhood and I'm equally apprehensive as I was in my childhood about how the outcome would be. I'll tear the tissue papers also into small bits like this. If you're watching this video, definitely this has turned out successful and so I have posted the video. So stay tuned. So now I have some torn newspaper uh, pieces and some torn white tissue paper pieces. Now I've taken some oil in my hand and I'm going to smear it all over this pot surface so that the first layer doesn't really uh, strongly adhere to it and it's easy to remove it later on. For the first layer, I'm just going to take these newspaper pieces, dip them in water and flatten them over this surface. Now if you notice, this is the uh, midpoint of this spherical portion and on the other side I have raised it a bit. I have kept it this way so that I can easily take this out of the mold. Now I will repeat this process three more times but this time instead of just dipping it with uh, water I am going to use my Mod Pod solution. Just apply it and <laughs> it's not coming another layer so this time with the Mod Podge the second layer third layer and the fourth layer will be with Mod Podge So I'll keep on doing this till I've added three more layers of newspaper to the spot and then I'll start layering with the tissue paper. Now this is after four good coats of newspaper with uh, diluted PVA or Mod Podge. Now I'm going to layer it up with tissue papers. 
these are white tissue paper because I want to give it a white background. Again the same thing, just this time it's the white tissue papers. Once it dry, it will give me a white base which will be easy to paint and decorate. You can see I'm letting it dry out in the sun. It's nearly dry. Uh, the outer coat is dry. I think this would. It might not be very dry in the uh, lowest or the innermost layer, but I think it's the right time to take it out and let it dry further. Just gonna. Uh, I'm a bit nervous because I'm doing this after ages, as I said. Just trying to make some space and you see it's because I had put oil in the beginning it's not adhering to uh, this oh yes 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 it moved has moved so it will come out yes oh be patient be patient be calm oh yes now you can see here is it I'll let it dry again and I'll paint the inside white but just before that let me give it a little more shape You see, I got my eggshell and it sits very well. Now, once this inside is dry, you can see the inside is still wet. Once the inside is dry, I'm going to paint it white like outside, and my container to hold spring inside is ready. Here are my handmade flowers. The tutorial is in my upcoming video. And here is my cute little hand painted bunny from my previous video. I'll put a card link above. And I've kept a stack of two books over which I have this beautiful cut glass cake stand. And over this I have kept my eggshell. I just made a little nest using some green grass and I have put my DIY painted speckled light pink and dark pink eggs here in this. The DIY is in a previous video, I'll put a card link and I've decorated it with flowers and some green leaves. I think this looks really pretty. If you really like this DIY and the video and the decor idea, do give it a like, a thumbs up Give down your comments, I would love to read them. And do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and stay updated with all my DIYs and videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you again soon in my next video. See you all.